Hello everyone, welcome to my September 2019 haul video. Welcome back everyone to another haul video. This is for September of 2019 and I know it is the very end of October. I apologize once again for that. I was waiting on a couple of things to come in the mail and then other videos took over my time and all that kind of stuff. But let's get down to it. If you haven't seen this video series before on my channel, it is essentially what the title suggests. It is a monthly haul video of all the things I got in a specific month. This just happens to be September of 2019 and without further ado let's get into all the things that I picked up. First off I just want to say that this is going to be a comic book centric heavy episode of, of the haul videos here because I just seemingly got a lot more comic book related items than I thought I was going to get and also I got a lot less movie related items than I thought I was going to get. So so without further ado here I have almost the entire run of House of X and Powers of X the only thing that I'm missing here that I'm going to show you will be the issues 6 of both titles. Those came out in October, so those will be in my October haul video. So first up is House of X number 2. And this actually came out much earlier and I was playing catch up with a lot of these titles and I'm glad I did because just reiterating some of the things I said in the last month's haul video, this is a fantastic, fantastic series written by Jonathan Hickman and I'm glad I really kind of jumped on it and really were able to track down these titles because this was the hottest book over the last couple of months. Here is House of X number three. The one you saw previously was Powers of X number three. Uh, here is House of X number four. Sorry for the glare if it's bothering any of you. Uh, here is Powers of X number four. I really love these covers, and I got just all of the original cover A covers, regular covers. There are a lot of variant covers when it came to these releases, and I just kind of stayed away from those. I'm kind of plain when it comes to my covers. I like to have them all uniform and all be the regular cover A's, and some of those are actually harder to track than others. So here is House of X number 5. Good shot of Apocalypse here on the cover. And here is Powers of X number 5 with Sinister on the cover. And it's a really tough series to kind of describe because it's so interesting and so unique that I kind of just recommend people to read it, just straight up read it. It will help if you are familiar with the X-Men characters in the X-Men world. It is very much inside baseball from that perspective, so you can't really go into it knowing completely nothing. Next up are the group of kind of uh, regular comics I get every month as well as a couple of back issues. So first up here is Firefly issue number 6, which I was missing, and Firefly issue number 9, which I believe was the new newest issue to come out in September. And I'm collecting those right along. I am still missing, I think, number 5, so I have to track that down. Um, next up here is something that you've all been well aware that I collect, because if you've been following this channel long enough, I get it every single month, and this is Supergirl issue number 33 by Mark Andreco. I have the regular cover here, and I have the variant cover here. My local comic book store only was able to provide me with the variant cover, but I was able to track down a regular cover later on, just to kind of complete the trend of getting regular covers for all these releases. And I also have issue number 34 of Supergirl. And you may be wondering, why did two issues come out in the same month? That's not typically the case. Well, what happened is 33 was supposed to come out in August, and it had to be pushed because of some type of reason. I'm not really quite sure why. They had to go back and re-edit or redo something, and so they decided to push it into the first week of September, but also 34 had to come out in September as well, so I ended up getting issues 33 and 34. Next up here is issue number 7 of Shazam. Uh, this is a comic that I've been collecting right along. I'm still missing issue... Uh, number six actually, so I have to kind of track that one down. Um, next are a couple of back issues that I just kind of was digging through box blog boxes and found randomly, and this is the New 52 issue number 25 for Stormwatch, which is kind of a comic that I really liked. I don't know if a lot of people read this or liked it. 
I dug it. And next is issue number five, also in the New 52 era of DC. And this is of Superman Unchained. And this is and this was done, I believe, by Scott Snyder and Jim Lee. So that's kind of why I, I started collecting it in the first place, just because those are two of my favorites. And the Stormwatch one is actually done by Jim Starlin. So those were all the comic book related items I got. Next up are the movie related items. And honestly, I did not get much in September. September was a bit of a dry month for me. And I'm not quite sure why. It's not like there weren't things to buy during the month, but I just seemingly didn't do so. But the biggest release of the month was John Wick Chapter 3 got its Blu-ray release, and I decided to get the Steelbook Edition to go with the other Steelbook Editions I have. This is the Best Buy exclusive UHD 4K Edition Steelbook, of course. And I kind of dig the cover. I like the colors. Um, it doesn't quite match up with the other Steelbooks from Best Buy when it comes to the overall aesthetic, which is going to be kind of bothersome for some, but at least it's a steelbook, and at least they didn't like drop the ball and not release a steelbook for the third one. That would have been a problem. And next up is a film that I've been wanting to get for a few years, and I was able to track down on eBay and also get it with the slipcover, and this is Green Room. This is done by Jeremy Saulnier. This is one of the last films that Anton Yochin did before his untimely passing. And this is a great, dark, gritty film. I highly recommend this film for people who like kind of like that gritty horror and just really tenseful films. And finally, and honestly not least of all, is actually something I got on eBay as well. And it is the Disney Halloween Collection, which I believe is a Disney Movie Club exclusive of... Hocus Pocus and The Nightmare Before Christmas, and what is interesting about this set is that these editions that come in here are Blu-ray and DVD combo packs. The regular editions that you buy in stores these days are just the Blu-ray editions, and I believe the digital copies come with those as well. And instead of buying those editions, I just decided to get this one because I ended up paying the same price I would have paid for buying those in stores. For those of you curious, it is just a slipbox packaging with the Blu-ray editions inside. So that has been all the things I got in September of 2019. If you want to see anything in any more depth, please let me know. Once again, this is kind of a late video. I apologize for that. Also, not really much when it comes to the overall haul. October will definitely be a much longer video with a lot more things because I can tell you right away, I picked up a lot more in the month of October if you're curious about all the things that I pick up. I post them all on my Instagram and I always have a link in the description below. So if you like this video, please check out the other videos on my channel.